Hello guys, it's Jabbar Arfel here, and welcome to the game of Heralds. Um, this is a card game. Um, as of for now, we can only do tutorial and play against AI. Uh, we're going to do two players. Expansion mode. Eugene. There's an Eugene Howard. Don't look him up, because he doesn't exist. Alrighty, so I wish I could play this game with my gamepad, but unfortunately it doesn't work. Um, so let's see what we got here. We got the blacksmith boar here, which is effect. We'll turn over up to two cards in a two in two totally different playing areas. Uh, his bonus is four prestige points if there are more warriors than blacksmiths in your village. Here we have the bard fox effect, the swamp one hand. I really do like the sapphire goat. Better than the scholar, but between these two, I'm gonna go with the softier goat. I'm mean, like, don't get me wrong, I do like the scholar. The scholar is helpful. Um, the scholar or the badger um, protects the characters from a guild from a guild in your village against any possible attacks, and you can join a guild as a representative, uh, which is pretty cool. So basically, the premise I can't actually give you a I can't pretend to actually tell you what the fuck this game is about you're just gonna have to watch me play it explaining it would be near to impossible you, we, we're just gonna have to do this to, uh, the tutorial afterwards um, so if you go oh yeah right so we're gonna send one of our bard foxes to the council here and um, yeah I do like this Um, give me him as well, then I'm going to, I'll just take the merchant cat links, yeah, it's probably a better trade, um, Take another scholar as well. We did a swap. Not bad. So everything plays out on this playing field alone. It can get pretty hectic pretty quickly. So. The, the key is just to stay on top because if you don't, then. Um, it's gonna be sad. Yeah, I couldn't use it that time. I don't think I like that ability. I'll just pull one of those and I'll always go with another bard. Bards are useful. Yeah, we can check out their ability. They swamp one card from your hand. So, if you need that, uh, fuck it. Alright, let's go ahead and send him out. Let's go ahead and drop two bards. Let's go ahead and use one scholar. Alrighty. Um, we're gonna wait on him. We're gonna take our last bard fox here. Uh, take another scholar. Let's get my hands full. I need my hands full with the good stuff. Okay, we're gonna do a swap here. It's not bad. So you can see there are three other players, two other players, 
one on the top and one on the left of me. Um, so basically, that's within their what that's what's in their hands, um, or on the playing fields. That's what they have on the playing fields. I can't remember actually. Let's go with another upgrade. So the more you uh, more of one card you add to, uh, say I have two scholars and I add them to an already scholar on the playing fields. Um, Basically, you, you can uh, level up that one hero, put it that way. Okay, no, it's not going to be the Merchant Links. It's not going to be you. Okay, I, I gotta get these out of my deck. They're low key holding space. Yeah, let's go with the. Oh, yes. Perfect draw. Perfect draw, I must say so myself. I got four of those boys in a row. We all draw from the same draw pile, but we all have our own separate amounts of. Uh, Mana pool or whatever that you can uh, draw from. So I have uh, too many of those. I need to drop another one of these Sapphire Goats. And I need to drop another one as well. Let's do that. Let's get one more in that draw pile. Now we're going to have to draw this big guy before he gets taken. And I guess we can pop over one of these guys too. Because we don't want him to get taken either. one more of those I would say I have to drop another one of those in there as well we're gonna give him the power draw Bard Fox we love those guys and this is a hard one Let's take one more of those I have to make sure I check my guys 24-7, their fields and their effects. Mm. Let's go ahead and get four on the playing fields here. And I say we can drop one more of these guys in there. take both of those right now uh, AI on the left has the most uh, points here so we got to drop him down a bit it's all about getting the most uh, in your council that's what the game is about getting the most cards in your council so let's go ahead with the bar box here
but we're going to give them both to him. Clear that out. I mean, that, that helps a lot, to be honest. You can't say it doesn't. Yeah, I won this round. Yeah, I had nothing for the merchant, unfortunately. Safir, yes. And the scouts. Ah, AI one beat me. I got third place for some reason. Fuck it, I guess uh, since I don't know how to explain the game, I know how to play it, just don't know how to explain it. So we're gonna have to. Uh, nobody ever plays this game anymore. We have to do single player. Let's do tutorial. Just for those who want to understand how to play this game, I can't explain it, so this will help me. Explain it to you guys and this and that. Maybe I might learn something new as well. Howard has unified the various kingdoms and has become the king of this powerful nation. Under this newly established peace, the various clans will engage in another war. A war of intrigue where they will fight each other to gain influence. To start playing, you must choose your first emissary for me. Okay, blah, 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 we already know this. He's gonna make us go with the Scout Wolf. First action gets to send the king. Symbolized by a crown. Fuck it. <laughs> prestige points. You've just gained prestige points. Each card in a player's village applies as many prestige points as there are copies in the king's count. So that's basically how it goes. The player with the most prestige points at the end of the game wins. Now we have literally one of each, except for the bard. Kind of see how that works. <laughs> if you can't understand, I should let you guys read what they're saying, though.
Alrighty, back to the main menu. Um, so we can do some more uh, online and single player. I did uh, buy this game. So that sucks. Let's go with three AI players. Expansion and a hard mode. We're going to get this one to pop in. It's going to be a longer game. Yeah, you want the bards. Those rack up pretty quickly. <coughs> Just something about the bards is very resourceful. So if we're going to select a card, I'd rather select him. Start getting some scholars out there. that okay so for the draw pile I want another one of those and another one of those so he's already racked up his first points I'm about to rack up mines in a bit Okay, you went from the Sapphire. Oh, we did the swap. Bad idea. That was a bad idea. That was a dummy bad idea. I don't want to play that. I'm going to go ahead and swap. You, uh... Another one of my bards. Go ahead, grab one more of those, grab one more of those, or one of those, one more of those. Alright, I got the perfect plan, I have two bards. I'm going to drop one now, on a playing field, and then I'm going to drop another sapphire. He did a bad trade right there. He actually could have had the upper hand. Whatever. You can't uh, complain, I guess. Uh, seen a merchant link and a bard. Fuck, I do need another merchant. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Let's take you. Exchange for another one of these. I'm gonna take that. Take that. Right now I'm on top, as you can see. Try to stay on top, cause yeah, yeah, this game gets pretty competitive. It's all about trading and multiple stuff you won't understand it until you actually play the game for a bit this game has a little bit of nostalgia purposes I won't lie to you this game could get you on top sometimes all right let me see he has three of those i'm thinking i can maybe drop another one of these Drop another one of these. Um, with 12. Take you. Switch for the bard. Okay, and I'm going to need another one of these. Um, I'm going to need another one of those too, to be honest. I need to get one of those into my council. Staying on top is going to be hard because they're going to gain up fast. It's all about the uh, good draws too. Because if you get like like shitty draws, like terrible draws, then yeah, it's just all bad. From this is pretty much downhill from there. So what I would like to do next is maybe go with the scholar. Um, 
Probably shouldn't relay all my best cards out yet. Um, okay, 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 okay. Let's drop one of those in the bank. And what do I, what else do I need? This is a tough one. I'm gonna have to let this one go this time. Got two of those. I need to make sure I, I make smart moves for my first and my second play. So next turn I should be getting something close to 25. Fuck, those shits are just dead weight. I have to get rid of them. Okay, what am I what am I gonna play now? Fuck it, I'm still on top. Ha! Huh, I got it. Last minute, I'm still on top. That quick double tap really helped. <laughs> Add four of them motherfuckers. I still lost, dude. Still fucking lost. It really doesn't matter. This game is fun as shit. This game is fun as shit. Let's go again. Fuck the hard mode. I do have the expansion pack on, so... Basically, barrels out the game for a little bit longer. More turns. Uncle, your friend needs you. You left um, your card in your friend's car. Okay, thank you. Now go. No, no. 